thing at once and most men want to be more than one thing or more than what they are but they won't admit that and they won't shout about it so they live with this knowledge that there's this other thing that they could be but quietly say on army stuff I think it's true I think about I forget I think about my dad my dad just my dad worked you know, he went to work, he came home, he did the washing up. He went to work, he came home, he did the washing up. And he wanted to go to Brazil. I agree with you. I think all men do want more and want different things. But with want comes hope. Um, yeah, I do agree with what Rob has said. Um, but it depends on how you deal with that desperation. Some people work so hard that it turns into something positive, like hope, where some people, like, it just, they just fall into, dis- into despair because they can't get what they want. It might be true, but I think a lot of people, I think we build society so that we always keep ourselves so busy and keep us away from thinking about it all and everything we do is to make sure that we're too preoccupied I think it's partially true um, it will probably depend, depend on how happy the current situation is um, I think it's probably true that everybody feels like that but I think you, someone else said that you should just deal with that and move on. Um, yeah, that might be true. But I still think it's harder to be a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's uh, a moment of time, so it might be true for you now, but it won't be hopefully in the future Um, I think some of the best situations are what you've worked hard for and I wouldn't be the person I am today without working my way up from rock bottom I feel like almost sometimes men can't be like human because they can't cry or show their emotions the same way that we do in front of everyone else that leads them to keep it all in there It seems like this uh, kind of quote could also be taken as generally people being ambitious. Um, I'm not a man, but <laughs> I felt like I've lived my whole life just quietly and I've never like really tried to say anything like publicly. And 
I think I should try and get out of that, but I, I find it really hard. I think, I don't really think I can speak for anyone else on the matter because I think the whole point of quiet desperation is that I don't know what everyone else is going through and I think desperation is a subtle thing and I think it's entirely possible that some of the most well-rounded people I've ever met could in fact be quietly desperate for things. I can only speak for myself, I can't speak for all men. I know that I've been desperate in the past, I know that I'm certainly a lot less desperate now, and I know that it was the times in which I was most desperate that I did the things which have left me most fulfilled.
Um, I think my reality would be being able to stop the world for a little bit and then teleport yourself to somewhere like the Caribbean or somewhere like that or, or in your own dream, like sometimes you have really realistic dreams and I quite like to sort of be able to jump in there and then you come back into the world and nothing's really changed and you could just carry on with your life. Tribal leaders, thank you to George. <laughs> and, um, we have got, um, um, and thank you to all of you, really. <laughs> Did you want to say anything before we um, go into the final, final stage of this? Just, I was so proud of my astronauts because <laughs> you know when they were sat really quietly, and I, I thought. Mm, come on, what are we going to do now on the dictaphone? And then it was, all this stuff came out, this deep, beautiful it was stuff. And I think Rob was really chuffed. He thought people were going to have a go at him, and nobody did. Oh. It was lovely. <laughs> yeah, I'd just like to say about my group that um, sort of in the last workshop, we had a lot of like, challenging discussion topics. And I'd just like to thank people for sort of being open about, with questions as well. People were like, eager to ask questions and get involved and I just thought that was something special so thank you very much and thank you all of you to, for coming because actually this has been um, incredibly useful this is like the start of um, or actually this is, this is the, the beginning of the, 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 um, the end of a development process which has been a long time in the making and um, it's called storyverse.net I'm about to give you all um, some details about it and also some, a list of the people who took part. I'm going to say thank you very, very briefly to the people who took part, but their names are on the list. Please, will you um, take away an evaluation form? If you don't want to do it tonight, if you just want to have another drink and a chat, please do that. But do send us the evaluation form because this is in development and it's so incredibly useful to us. And if you do want to just come and tell us what you think, that would be really, really useful too. So thank you so much to Bambi and Anne. Thank you to Ingrid. Thank you to Jess. Thank you to Jaren. Thank you to Leela. Thank you to Matt over there, who was Rob. Thank you to Steph, um, who did not only poetry but tech. Thank you to Kev, who's over there. Yeah. Who did, yay, yeah. Kev. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. The, 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 the documentary camera. Thank you to Ben. Where are you, Ben? There's Ben. Thank you to Ioni. She's the behind you. Yes, to Ioni. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Adrian, who's helped us so much set up. And who am I? Who am I? Thank you, thank you to Nigel who came all the way from London who's bringing a new piece of tech that we're going to be doing in the next thing. Please, can you befriend us on Facebook? Or give us your details if you're not on Facebook. We completely understand that. Because we are going to be running this again. And it will be completely different. And yet, hopefully, all the good bits will be the same. So I'm now going to pass out these forms. Is there anything else we need to say? Thank you to the Mixed Reality Lab. Yeah. Mm. Thank you so much to the Mixed Reality And thank you to the Computer Sciences. And thank you to Mouthy Poets. And thank you to all of you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and coming amongst you now, it's, 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 attack them. Attack them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.